So today we're gonna make some MSG pickles. Did you say MSG pickles? Yes, I did. Let's get started. Here are these puppies, they're delicious. So what is MSG? MSG stands for monosodium glutamate. It's a flavor enhancer and it adds an umami flavor to foods. It's delicious. What is umami, you say? It actually means essence of deliciousness in Japanese. And it's often used to make foods more meaty and savory and delicious and deep in flavors. So it's considered one of the five basic tastes, sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. We've been told for years that MSG is bad for us. In fact, restaurants will say that they don't have any MSG in their food. So what does the FDA say about MSG? So the FDA considers the addition of MSG to foods to be generally recognized as safe. Although many people identify themselves as sensitive to MSG, in studies with such individuals given MSG or placebo, scientists have not been able to consistently trigger reactions. So you may say, I don't eat any foods that have MSG in it. So what food restaurants have MSG in it? Let's take a look. So you might say, what are the side effects of MSG? They include headache, flushing, sweating, facial pressure or tightness in your face. You can get lack of feeling in your extremities, such as numbness, and you can get quick fluttering heartbeats or cardiac arrhythmias, chest pain, nausea, and weakness. So now that we're armed with all of this knowledge on MSG, let's make some MSG dill pickles and make our MSG dill pickle ancestors happy. Okay, so what are you gonna need to make these pickles? You're gonna need a clean quart jar and a lid and a band, okay? And then you're gonna need a refrigerator to put your pickles in. I'm guessing you have a refrigerator. So we actually like to use these English cucumbers because they stay pretty firm the pickles turn out really nicely and the skins are not really super bitter. So we actually like these. So I'm using two different sizes, like a big thicker one and a smaller one. You can use the same size, it doesn't matter. So you wanna get about a foot long cucumber because that'll actually fill up the quart jar really nicely. So at the beginning here, just cut off the ends. Okay. So I have this handy dandy crinkle cutter that I picked up on Amazon. A link will be listed below if you want to purchase it. And then what you're gonna do is just gonna take your handy dandy crinkle cutter and cut these into coins. So about maybe a quarter inch thick. And you can see they cut really nicely and very easy, evenly. And it has a nice little crinkly cut to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut all of these puppies. Be careful not to cut your little fingers. Okay, so then I'll wait here, I'll just speed this up. So. Okay, so you can see all these turned into these nice little pickle coins. They look delicious. And you don't have to use this handy dandy crinkle cutter, but it actually makes some nice texture on it. But you can use it just a regular knife if you want to, and they turn out really nicely. So what you're gonna do next is get some fresh dill. We really like this, you can buy it from most stores. And you're gonna put, I don't know, really as much in there as you want to, but I just grab a little handful here. Okay, pluck it off. You can give it a rinse if you'd like. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to take it and make it nice and pretty and just put it down in your jar and kind of lay it in there kind of flat. Okay, maybe I'll actually use a little bit more. Okay. That's a lot of dough. So actually put a little bit more in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your little pickles and take your coins and stick them in your little jar, stuff them in there. Stuff them in there. All right, you can see that I got all those pickles in there, so that's about a foot long uh, English cucumber, but then you can see that your nice dill in there, it looks pretty tasty. So now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, get yourself a little pan and turn it on like a medium to high heat. And then you're gonna put in one and a half cups of vinegar. 
Next, you're going to put in three quarter cups of water, one tablespoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and two teaspoons of MSG, or also Weijing, which is a Chinese word for MSG. Once everything is dissolved, then we're going to pour it in our quart jar. You don't necessarily have to get this boiling, just enough to get everything to kind of mix together. Make our brine ancestors happy. All right, once everything is dissolved, you gotta let this cool for a few minutes before you pour it into your quart bottle. So after your fluid has cooled for about five to 10 minutes, then you're gonna pour it into your, into your quart jar by using a big funnel. Makes it easier that way and less messy. So just go ahead and pour it in. Oh, that's really hot. So you may not need all of this. This recipe makes enough for one quart and you'll invariably have some left over. So I pour it in. You don't really have to have like a half inch of head space on this. It's totally fine to fill this up to the top. And then you're going to add two cloves of garlic and you just put that in right over the top. Okay, right over the top, it smells wonderful. Use your fancy spoon to put it in there. Just kind of mix it around a touch. Then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna put on your lid. Okay, put on the band. And you're gonna want it sealed somewhat tightly. And then you're just gonna kind of mix around that garlic. Get the garlic moving around in the bottle. And that's your finished pickles. Okay, so <laughs> we'll put these in the fridge overnight and we'll keep the band on nice and tight. We'll toss them a couple times, just flip them over, rest them on the bottom, rest it on its top to get the mixture moved around. But we'll see what they look like in 24 hours. These are pretty yummy. So who doesn't like a good pickle? Through the magic of television, we have these pickles ready. Mm. Let's taste them. These are so good. These are the best pickles you'll ever eat. And you made them yourself, so you know what's in them. That's the great thing about these pickles. So these are great on sloppy joes and burgers and sandwiches and just whatever the heck else you think they would go good on. You could also make these into pickle spears too, so you could cut them long ways and make them into nice pickle spears. Um, that would turn out really well as well. And if you wanted to, you could add some red pepper flakes to this too. I've not done that, but you could also add some red pepper flakes and make it a little bit spicy if you want to. Tell me what you think by commenting below. Please subscribe, like, and share if you like this video. I've not been able to find anybody else on the internet making these MSG pill pickles. I think your family will love them, so I'll catch you later. Ooh, these are tasty. Super strong. Mm. I think you love them. Make them. Bye. Cut, cut. That's not all right. And then you want to get about a foot long pickle. I have this handy dander. Dander. Three quarter cup. Mother puss. Okay. Take number 12. Tell me what you think of them by commenting below. Mm. Okay, and then I'm gonna facial pressure. <laughs>